general strategy for factoring polynomials. Yeah, okay, sure. First thing you're gonna do is the first rule of factoring. Never talk about factoring. Take out a common factor. Yes, after you've done that in the remaining terms, I need you to count them. I need you to count them, count the remaining terms. If you count two terms, then you're gonna be looking for special products. I'm talking about dot, 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 four dot, and five spot. Uh-huh. Okay, if after you perform the first rule of factoring, never talk about factoring, and you count the terms and you count three terms, first you're gonna got, try to get out on the cheap and easy. You're gonna try to see if it's a special product. Yeah, the, I'm talking about dot and dot dot. Yeah, if it's not dot and dot dot, then you need to move on. You need to check the leading coefficient. If it's one, you gotta get that. You gotta get that boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Or, if the leading coefficient is not one, you are going to employ that cool method. The AC method. Yeah. All right. After you perform the first rule of factoring, never talk about factoring, pulling out the greatest common factor. You count the terms. If there's four, you are going to try to group. First, you're gonna take them two by two. If that doesn't work, try three by one. Okay, or maybe switch the order of the terms. If it's more than four terms, you may need to employ factoring by division. Let's employ that general strategy. All right, let's take a look at this guy up here. First rule of factoring, never talk about factoring. And then after that, Take out a common factor. Yeah, x left on the inside. You got x squared minus 16. First rule of factoring. Never talk about factoring. And then after that, two terms, special products. After you've taken out the common factor, you count the remaining terms. Uh huh. I count two terms. I'm looking for a special product. Is that dot? The dot or dot dot dot? Hmm. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Yes. This is the square of x. This is the square of four. So every single time, this is x plus four, x minus four. Sure, bring that x on down. I think that marker is two. Okay, first rule of factoring. Never go for factoring. And then after that, pull out a common factor. It appears, ooh, 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 four. Sure. Yeah, so I pull up, uh, wait a minute, it's only two, yeah, so then I pull the two out, and left on the inside I have four, x squared plus 20x plus 25, for sure, for sure, first rule of factoring, never talk about factoring, and then after that, count the terms, three, special products, no? Leading term, one, bam, bam. No, cool method, AC method. Sure. So then I count the remaining terms. How many do you see? I see three. Now I'm gonna try to get out on the cheap and easy. Is this a square of something? Yes, two X. Is this a square of something? Yes, five. This one times that one, double it. Is it 20 X? Yes, so it's screaming, perfect. Square. This is 2x plus 5. Uh huh. Squared. What do I do here? Bring that 2 right out front. Yeah. Some more. I'm going to come to the top. Oh no! First rule of factoring. Never talk about factoring. After that, take out a common factor. Is there? Are there? It doesn't appear to be, no. First rule of factoring, never talk about factoring. And then after that, take out a common factor. Okay, count the number of terms. Four terms, grouping. Group them two by two, if that doesn't work, three by one. Okay, no. okay, so I'm gonna group them. I'm gonna try to group them two by two. Uh-huh, what am I gonna pull out of that first group? Ooh wee, it appears to be an X squared. Yes, left on the inside I got an X minus four. Sure, out of that second group. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I can pull a nine, a minus nine. I pull a ni minus nine out, fine. Uh-huh. Left on the inside, I have X minus four. Sure. Yes. Okay. Now I got a common factor, so I can pull that common factor out front. X minus four. Sure. But wait, there's more. Left over on the inside, you're gonna have x squared minus nine. Oh no, look at that. It's the difference of squares, dot, dot, dot. Mm-hmm, x plus three, x minus three. Tee hee, tee hee. Bring down that x minus four, sure. And then, and a flower. It's got one big petal. Okay, let's back pedal. I take a look at this. I see four terms, I try to group two by two. Hmm, that doesn't work for you. No, it doesn't. Here we're gonna attempt to group. Three by one. Yeah, you may need to do this from time to time. On uh, this one. I uh, try to get on the cheap and easy. Is this the square of something? Yes. X, is this the square of something? Yes. Five. This one times that one, double it. Is it? It's squaring. Perfect square. Oh. So every single time it's X minus five. Squared minus 36. Y squared. Okay. So here we go, I have something squared. Is this something squared? Yes, that's six y squared. Uh -huh. Okay, so here this is squaring. Difference of squares, oh boy. So every single time, it's this plus that, this minus that. But what was this? I'm gonna have x minus five plus six y X minus five minus six y. Okay, sure. And then, can I, can I, can I? A box. And a flower. 